Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got a quick update about Tinkercad, so let's get cracking. Friends, before I get started, I am on my website right now, hlmodtech.com. I want to show you that I've got a Tinkercad tab with tons of amazing lessons. Also, a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. What I also want to mention is the Designer Showcase. Friends, there are a lot of user profiles in here. This is one of my favorite things about Tinkercad. If you click on the person's profile, you can see all of the designs that they've made public. When they first show up, they're sorted by likes. You can see mine have a lot of tutorials. This is my sweet jet, and it is almost up to 500 likes, which I think is absolutely awesome. Of course, you can also sort by recent, so you can see my latest creations, including this really fun lighthouse tutorial. Don't forget, there are always links in there if you want to follow the tutorial. And then if you make it out here, make sure you take time to give a reaction as well. Friends, what I want to highlight today, though, is how when I start every day, I can click right here and I can click notifications. So, friends, I can instantly see that people copied projects, that which means they're using them and reacted with staff picks. Now, when somebody reacts, I like to open in a new tab and I like to give them feedback on their designs too. When this happens, that just means that the user has not made any designs public. Friends, I'll show you real quick at the end of this how to make them public. But before we do that, I wanna click up on the gallery and I wanna show you first the staff picks. These are awesome designs that you can check out. They are always sorted this way when you first launch. If you switch to recent, you will see projects created by other people. This is a fun one by Shining Dream. I am going to click on it right now, and of course, I'm going to give it a wow. If you want to see more of these, you can switch to this view. You can hover over them to see what they look like. Sometimes the images will load really quick because users have added them, but if it's slow, you can also just click and give a reaction. Once again, click back to go back. Now this is kind of funny. It's only been a few seconds and look at how many more amazing designs there've been. I absolutely love the opportunity to be the first one to give a reaction. That's fantastic. And if you're real patient, you can even hit view in 3D and actually check out what the design looks like from the outside. That is awesome. Finally, friends, let me show you one other cool thing. If you search by likes, you can see some of the most amazing creations ever. Check it out. This one has 18,000 likes. That is a pretty amazing number. Other amazing ones like the Tinker Dragon, it has 12,000 likes, and I'm definitely going to give it a wow. As promised, friends, here are the steps for making it public. So you can see I have got a private ice cream cone design. You see simply click on this tiny gear and choose properties. You can give it a better name. You can give it a better description. Lots of room to type there. You can add tags. I'm going to put ice cream. I will eventually have a tutorial up here because you know that's how I roll. I'm going to make it public and then because I always include tutorials, I set it to no derivatives. I would rather have users complete the tutorials than simply copy and tinker projects. And bam, just like that, your design is public. After a moment, you can see the default image loads. I do want you to know you can add your own custom images when you choose the file. I'm going to add the one that shows hlmodtech.com and hit upload. Boom, that'll forever be attached to the project. You can also, if you make a cool one about your ice cream cone, you can make that the the default image. When you're done, friends, you can hit close and then you can start watching to see the reactions roll in. I'll let you in on a little secret too. When you give me a reaction and I do the right click open in a new tab, I will always double check your designs, make sure I find something in the recent, check out your designs, and give you a reaction on your amazing projects as well. Isonic Blaster, your upcoming city is looking absolutely epic. So everybody, I just wanted to remind you that those notifications are there and that reactions and the gallery are absolutely epic. Finally, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com and use that sweet built-in messaging tool. You can also track down a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. It has more than 500 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. I will also remind you that you can instantly click on the designer showcase and check out all these amazing designers and of course give them reactions 
things as well. And finally, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.